Hello everyone and welcome back to Conference Championship Week in the NFL. We're down to the final four. San Francisco, Atlanta, Baltimore and New England. If somebody would have told you at the beginning of the year that these would be the final four teams, I don't think any of us would have been surprised. Okay, let's get right to the games. Okay, in the AFC game we have Baltimore going to New England in a rematch of last year's championship game. The Patriots are eight point favorites at home and the number is 51. The spread has gone down a little bit. It opened up at nine and a half and the public money has come in, I think, pretty heavily and smartly, I think, on that number. The These two teams have played before, uh, I guess the last five or six times and the margin of victory has been one point, three points, three points, six points, 19 points, but that's when Baltimore won and that's in the Flacco era and the year before Flacco Baltimore actually kept that game close in, a, in, a, in an off year that they had by three points so I, I really think that this number is too high a lot of teams uh, get worried when they play New England I don't know if you've ever read the book The Art of War by Sun Tzu this Chinese general about 2000 years ago he wrote that most battles are won before the battle has even started I think that happens a lot with New England. This is a team that I, I do really well betting against because I know what the competition thinks against New England. I know who will give them a fight and who don't. The teams that the Patriots have problems with, first of all, are very good defensive teams. They lost four games this year. Early on, they lost to Arizona. Now, don't laugh. Arizona, I know they lost a lot of games in a row, but at the beginning of the year, their defense was really good. It was the offense that let them down. And as the year went by, the, the defense just got ground down and down. But at the beginning of the year, they had a good defense. They also lost to Baltimore, the same team that they're playing right now. Pretty good defense. They lost to Seattle, the number one defense in the league. And they lost to San Francisco, which I think has the second or third best defense in the league. So New England loses to good defenses. And let's take a look at some of the teams that they've lost to in the playoffs, the teams that have knocked them out. Well, two of those years they've lost to the Giants. Very good uh, front four defense, maybe the best that I've ever seen. Uh, they've also lost to the Jets. Good defense. Uh, they, uh, they're led by Rex Ryan, a coach who doesn't go in for the, the Patriots hype. He's got a, a real bragging way to him. He doesn't get all caught up in that. They've lost to Baltimore, they've uh, lost to Indy and to Denver, teams that don't really buy into the, the, the hype necessarily. And something that's re really funny about the, the Patriots, in the years that they, they've been knocked out of the playoffs since their last win back in 2004, their last Super Bowl win, they have lost to that team in that year, I believe, uh, four of the five times, or five out of the six times, they, they, they lost the, to the Giants last year the Giants eventually beat them they lost to the Jets once the year before that they split that series the Jets beat them they barely beat Baltimore uh, in, 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 the, uh, in 2009 and if you remember because I remember very well Baltimore had a chance to win that game really late and the, the receiver dropped the ball with uh, about 25 seconds left at the 10 yard line I remember my bad beats very well Kind of the same thing that happened last year in the, in the uh, championship game where the player uh, dropped the, a very makeable catch for a touchdown and then they missed the field goal. Same kind of deal. They, um, they had barely beat the Giants the year that they played. Remember the, the year that they went 16-0? The Giants in week 17 held them within three points and then, then they beat them. They, they lost to Indy the year before that and the year before that they lost to Denver. So New England follows a pattern. When they lose in the, in the Super Bowl, or in, in the playoffs, they tend to lose to a team that has beaten them already this year. And that's what Baltimore did in week three, I think it was. So what I think is going to happen is that Baltimore is going to actually win this game. Now, a lot of you are thinking, well, you know what, they'll just cover the game. Uh, New England is favored. Well, the Patriots are always favored. As a matter of fact, they were favored in every game this year except for the one that they played against Baltimore. Again, they lost, but ironically covered. But New England is virtually favored in every game, and they do lose them. And this is a game that I feel 
they can lose. I'm going to predict the score in this game that Baltimore will win 33-30. to So, take Baltimore with your money line play, take Baltimore plus 8, and take over 51. In the NFC game, we have the San Francisco 49ers going to Atlanta, where the Falcons are four-point dogs at home, and the number is 49. Okay, last week, the Niners rumbled over a very good Green Bay team. Actually, had it not been for a pick six that Kaepernick threw in that game early, and then a late garbage time touchdown that Green Bay got, that game wouldn't really have been that close. Atlanta hung on at the very end to beat a scrappy Seattle team. In that game, they, Atlanta was able to keep Seattle off the board for the entire first half, but the Seahawks could have scored late in the uh, first half a, a field goal, if not even a touchdown, had it, they had a better clock management. The thing that gets me, though, is that Atlanta gave up 28 points in the second half. Now, it seemed that the Seahawks' defense was wearing down Atlanta, and had they played a, a couple of minutes more, I think uh, the Seahawks would have won. Uh, Atlanta was able to sort of counter Seattle's strength, which, which is their secondary. The, the two corners and the two safeties are big, strong, physical uh, guys, and Atlanta's receiving core is also very big and strong and physical, but uh, that's not the strength of the San Francisco defense. It's, it's that front seven of theirs with the, the Smith brothers on the uh, defensive line and the linebacker core led by Willis, the uh, perennial pro bowler. The Seahawks weren't able to get to uh, Matt Ryan even once. They didn't sack him at all. I think that front seven is going to get to Ryan, and this will be the, the difference in this game. I'm not even sure if this is going to be that close. And I know Atlanta's got a very good record at home. They only lost once this year. That was that uh, Week 17 game where they sort of c can be forgiven because they had nothing to play for. I just think that San Francisco has the most uh, between the two teams on both sides of the ball. And I think this is going to be a Harbaugh Super Bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict that San Francisco will win this game 35 to 24. So take San Francisco with the money line, take San Francisco minus four, and take over 49. Okay, those are my picks. Keep in mind I have been drinking. And good luck to you. I also want to just say if you haven't seen my video for the Geo Knows Awards for the best videos and best prognosticators, I hope you check it out. I'll uh, leave a link right over here and uh, a little reminder. This is what everyone is, is going for, the Geo. So I hope you, you check out that video and make your, your votes for your favorite prognosticators and your favorite videos. Okay, for the Geo Knows channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.